honestly doesn't feel like we've been here two years as a staff. It's gone so fast, um, you know, kind of coming in in September that first year, just trying to get to know everybody, learn names, learn about the program. Um, and then we, you know, spent a, a ton of time recruiting and spent a lot of time really trying to develop what what we had and do the best we could with uh, the players that we had here. And they really maximized their potential. You know, we had Rachel Howard, who was fantastic that first year, and Claudia, who gave us, um, you know, great intelligence on the court. And then we transitioned to the second year, and Anna Silen stepped up, uh, Michaela stepped up, Kaylin stepped up, and we brought in Shannon as a a uh, pretty good point guard for us and Moa um, to play in the post and um, just spent a lot of time um, really trying to work on recruiting. So now this year we've brought in, we'll have eight freshmen for 2018-2019, which um, could be an adventure. We're excited about them, but that's a lot of young kids. Um, of those eight freshmen, seven are, are international players um, to go along with the several international kids that we have uh, as returners. but. Um, you know, it's just, you know, I think the kids did a great job with the transition from Jennifer AZ to me as a, as a head coach. I think I really have been appreciative of, of, you know, some of the sacrifices and the changes they made and expectations. I thought they really worked very hard to become the best players they could be. And then I feel like our staff, uh, Arthur and Janelle, did a fantastic job of recruiting, um, getting us players who will hopefully help us continue to build this foundation and um, reach some, some of our goals in, in the future. You know, I think those things are all credit to the players in the program. And like I said, they um, made a, a really focused effort to make a good transition. And, you know, Rachel Howard, Claudia, Shima that first year dedicated themselves to, you know, kind of transforming their game. They had some really good players leave and graduate the program um, that prior year, and they had to step into some new roles, did a fantastic job. And then I think last year, like I said, um, Michaela and Anna Silent and Kaylin Simon transitioned to some new roles and, um, you know, kind of transformed themselves as players and elevated our program. And we added some good recruits last year. We didn't have a ton of depth, but the players that we had were very dedicated to the program and, um, you know, worked very hard to, to get all those, the wins that they did get. So now this year we'll have to make another transition. We've got um, players who have been in the program, but have been injured. Uh, Nia Alexander, Beck Black are coming off of injuries. We hope that they'll be able to um, to blend in and, and give us some good minutes this year. And then we add all those freshmen. So um, we have a lot of, it'll, it'll be another transition year. It'll be a, a lot of changes, but I feel like we've got, uh, again, a very good staff in place. I feel like um, players have bought into uh, our expectations and to, you know, what we're trying to get accomplished on the court. And um, we're all really excited. And Katie will be fantastic. We we played together at Stanford, obviously. Um, she is a you know a gold medal Olympian. Um, she is a fantastic work ethic. She was you know as a player uh, having an opportunity to watch her play and to play with her. She was probably one of the most underrated uh, Olympians um, that to ever be on an Olympic roster. You know she did a lot of little things. She was kind of ahead of her time uh, in terms of being a a big guard uh, who could also play a post position kind of uh, would be really good in today's game. Um, but that was you know, 25, 30 years ago she was able to do those things. So um, very accomplished as a player, um, transitioned right into coaching, has coached at a lot of different levels. She's been a, a head coach at a, an NAIA level. She's been an assistant coach at a Division One level and a head coach at a Division One level. Um, uh, she's going to really be able to augment our domestic recruiting. Um, we've spent a lot of time on international recruiting. She'll be able to help us, I think, um, establish some good connections um, and build our, hopefully, build our domestic recruiting uh, profile. And she'll be, she's somebody that uh, that I trust on the court, just because we have a, you know, kind of similar philosophies in terms of um, how we're going to teach players and and the things we're going to do to try to bring out the best in our our kids. So I'm really excited that she's back here. I think obviously a lot of credit for that goes to the former staff. They recruited um, great students, you know, good student athletes. They were um, kids who came in with a, a focus and a purpose. They're all intent on graduating. A lot of them know, you know, what they want to do. A lot of them are able to get their master's degrees um, prior to, to leaving USF. So, um, you know, I think a lot of it, it comes from the kind of person that you're recruiting. It needs to be important to them, not just the basketball side of it, but the academic side of it. And, you know, they've all been proficient in high school um, 
at their schoolwork, and usually that carries over very well um, to what they do in college. Uh, now, with these international kids that we're bringing in, um, the good part about that is they're usually very well prepared academically to make that transition to American um, academics. So hopefully we'll we'll be able to maintain the you know that kind of high GPA standard that our kids have had in the past. Now the great part about the international kids, the European kids, is many of them have had the opportunity to compete in European championships, um, you know, and, and the ones that haven't are here working out with us. So, um, you know, I think just pl being able to play, like you said, at a high level, at an elite level, and compete against other countries representing your country as an under 16 or an under 18 or an under 20, I think, um, you know, that that will help them tremendously in terms of, you know, on-court experience. I think it also helps them maturity-wise. I think it helps them, um, you know, with their confidence and being able to transition successfully into the American game. Um, I think it, I look at it as all positive. You know, I, um, you know, some of them played small roles on their teams. Some of them played really big roles on their teams. But I think it's fantastic that that those guys have an opportunity to to play and to take pride in representing their countries.